you know, I was showing you the clip of uh, the field and, um, you know, there's all kinds of failures, I guess. Um, there's the failure of never trying anything and, um, because you're so afraid of what if you don't succeed. Um, and there's the failure of holding on to something um, longer than it's needed. Um, so holding on to something that is not serving you. Um, not doing something, of course, that you should be doing is a failure. You know, of course, health. People know they should be moving more and eating less junk, yet um, they are afraid of eating healthier because it's so much harder. You're giving up all your favorite junk food that is destroying your body and uh, your health um, and limiting you. And you guys see exercising as um, being so hard and taking so long. But the only reason why it's hard is because you aren't doing it. It's something you aren't doing every single day. Um, you're not finding the benefits. You don't see the benefits because you just want to always see what you have, which is, you know, being lazy um, and being able to eat the junk. But you have the life that you have because of the actions that you are taking. And by me holding on to this part of um, this journey that I have been taking place for um, two years now is um, it hasn't been serving me. Um, I had great enjoyment and high expectations out of it in the beginning and um, I didn't like certain aspects of it all. I enjoy the health benefits of what it offers, but um, everything else behind it, I have always felt um, standoffish and kind of queasy about, yet I didn't listen to my own intuition, what my heart was telling me, and that kind of puts a, a strain and a resistance. Um, it kind of builds up a wall of blocking you from having anything further in your life and I know that I have to let this part go in order for the other doors to be open in my life and um, you know I have been getting all kinds of signs that I need to be doing other things a change is coming within my life and to look out watch out and always believe in what you feel within your heart your heart tells you what you should be doing and it's People need to just wake up to truly believing in themselves and where, you know, what this world is trying to teach us, um, you know, what God is trying to tell us to do. It's so easy when we just trust our own intuition in our hearts. And I don't mean in our hearts because we have anger or bitterness because our hearts also will um, cause you to think with your ego. Um, that's there's two different things um, when you know something is good for you you have that warm feeling and oh I should be doing this but there's always a fear behind it um, because you're thinking of the fear but you know when you get that warm feeling inside of uh, doing something different trying something being better um, that is what you should be doing and um, but there's also that ego self that says um, I'm going to hold on to this and uh, I'm not going to love this person or I'm going to hate this person because of the pain that I feel in my heart. Um, that isn't your heart. That's your ego. So understand the difference. I know I, I kind of fly off the wall with my talking about so many other things. Um, but I guess, uh, you know, it just needs to be said. Um, 
But I guess my point is today is don't hold on to things that are not serving you. And that also includes all of the stuff that we build up in our homes that we don't use any longer, um, but we want to keep around because there's a, a memory of an attachment to it, um, whether good or bad. But mostly, I mean, I have so much stuff in my home that represents the terrible time of my my pain and chronic pain and my depression that I have not given away and, um, you know, trashed because of wanting to hold on to that um, yet I don't want to I don't, don't want to ever go back to it so I don't know why I'm holding on to it it's just it's crazy how we think or the mind works when we still want things great in our life but uh, we don't do every single thing that we should be doing um, you know So just listen to yourself. Life speaks to us. Our hearts know what we should be doing. You know, when we actually listen to what our heart is actually saying. I mean, that is what God is teaching us or telling us um, the easiest way to go in life. It is easier, but the action of actually doing it is the hard part but once you actually just take that one step smooth sailing it's smooth sailing you build this faith and trust within yourself that oh hey I can do this it was easy all along all right guys that's it for now <laughs> Much love, health, and healing your way. This is Christy, and I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.